it's Monday, April 25th, 2016. I'm Candace Red. Let's get straight to your weather with meteorologist Riley Hill. Expect a few clouds out there for our Monday, but warm, low 80s across the area today, so staying above average. And no rain to talk about today, but that is not the case going into the middle part of our work week. You can see our rain chances do go up, and we are expecting the risk of severe weather by Wednesday. So I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Thanks, Riley. A 36-year-old man is in jail after police fire. This unoccupied house on West Gertrude Street has been targeted by thieves on multiple occasions. While a family member and police disagree on the number of break-ins at this location, both say it's a major problem for this town of about 2,000 people. 2200, 745, 2200, that's Drew Police. I don't even have to save it in my phone because it's on my mind. I've called so much and they come out, they talk to you. They're very nice, they're very respectful, very professional, nothing against them. They come down to the station, you get a police report, you fill it in, you turn it in. They're supposed to do that anyway, just any call, I believe, and nothing ever gets done. Philip Wright's parents lived in the house more than 40 years. His father has died and his mother is hospitalized. And I don't live here and I'm not here and these people just take advantage of this situation. They come in here and they break in, they steal everything she's got. I mean, keepsakes, stuff is valuable. Police Chief Terry Tyler says break-ins are a problem not only in this neighborhood, but all over town. And we've most definitely been trying to be uh, proactive as far as the police department to go around asking questions, trying to see who broke in 
and, and people resident and try to get people to say something. And that's one of our motto. If you see something, say something. Tyler says neighbors can help by watching for suspicious activity and property owners may need to upgrade security. I know once upon a time before before I became the chief, I uh, is brought to my attention that they had a uh, neighborhood watch team. Uh, we don't have that anymore. So I mean, people can pretty much uh, look out for for their neighbors and call the police when they see something happening or uh, expect something to happen, any kind of uh, suspicious things, activities going on. They call us, let us know. We most definitely come by and check it out. One neighbor of this house says he and another resident have cameras that have captured some of the criminal activity, but the images aren't clear enough to identify anyone. Andrew Woodrow Wilkins, WXVT, Delta News. girls a chance to be exposed to speakers to teach them or to give them some guidance on daily living and um, give and empower them that they can be whatever they want to be through black girls can. Great way to get out. It's really family friendly. We have a lot of crafts for the kids. Um, they're um, having a good time doing sidewalk art um, in the middle of the street. Um, Second Street is closed down, um, and so everybody's just here. Lots of families enjoying the day, listening to great music, and just having a good time. Go to the river, bring out the It's great. Um, this is my third day, well, second second day of the festival, but third time at Jazz Fest, and it's really fun. Um, it's great seeing everyone here, lots of New Orleanians, lots of people from outside the city coming in and having some fun. Did you vote? <laughs> Did you vote? See, I told the young woman that I, I think Dr. King would be very concerned that after folks like Medgar Evers and so many others gave their lives fighting for the right to vote, that today in almost every election, more than half of young African Americans have essentially disenfranchised themselves.
Your own resolutions. Not a big one, though. No. All right, well, what about the viewers? Do we have any new comments there? No new comments. <laughs> no new comments. I think we're not getting any new comments in because people are just like me, rolling out of bed, eating the pizza, not sticking to that New Year's resolution. Or not willing to admit it. Or not willing to admit it. All right, well, let's go ahead and admit that the weather today is going to be great. Not bad out there. Not but bad. Warm, mix of sun and clouds. Not too bad for a Monday. And starting off warm as well. Already into the mid 60s. And another humid day, it looks like. Dew points into the mid to upper 50s, even low 60s up there in Cleveland. That may be a little off, though. I don't know if I'm buying that. South wind staying persistent. Not going to be too breezy out there today, though. Should stay less than 15 miles an hour. Here's a look at that cloud cover, though. Majority of it pushing off towards the east, but we're going to have some more filter into the area throughout our Monday. No rain to talk of today, but that is not the case heading to the middle part of our work week. I'll talk about that after the break. All right, thanks, Riley. So, uh, you're on Snapchat, right? Snapchat. There is a new app, apparently, well, a new feature on there, where you can exchange your face with your own face. That's the kind of app I'm talking about. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Plus, find out what's going on with businesses. We have your Money Watch Report plus technology after the break.